Pipeline, on the other hand, is completely different. Pipeline doesn't have anything to do with coral cover, especially on the inside. The waves are simply too big and powerful at Pipeline to even have coral grow to start out with. The inside at Pipeline is basically just the reef's been carved by the surf, and there's little pinnacles that stick up all over the place. Matter of fact, uh, including myself, I've known a few people that have run into them, and almost got knocked out underwater. Those pinnacles are actually making now a good drag on the underside of the wave to keep the wave hollow. Corals being alive or dead at pipeline simply doesn't interfere with the quality of the surf. But out at the second reef at pipeline, you can see it's deep enough where there is some coral cover. There's also just a flat reef with a big hole in the middle of it. It's pretty cool. Down in that hole are a bunch of big lobsters and eels and all kinds of cool critters that live down there. And the further out you go at Pipeline, the more coral you see because the waves are just simply don't have as much power that close to the reef. It gets deeper and deeper the further out that you go. What's interesting about Pipeline is it's like Waimea probably was thousands of years ago. A few of the rocks at Pipeline have broken off. They've started rolling around on the reef making these little pukas, these little divots. And those little divots are now getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every year. Sooner or later, as these rocks roll around and these divots get larger and larger and larger, especially at back door, then they're actually going to start interfering with the quality of the wave. There'll be more of the deep holes, shallow reef, deep holes, shallow reefs. So we're likely to see it pipeline the wave section down the road, especially at back door, more than it does right now.